there is magic in believing and there's truly a book of magic with a magic code and I'm going to teach you how to discover that magic book with its magic code. Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy, it's a pleasure, it's my honor, as usual, to be greeting you, always bringing this message of emancipation to you, whereby I'm pointing you to look no other place, but to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that is why I want to speak to you concerning the book of magic and the magic code. Now, before you can really accept the fact that there is a book of magic with also a magic code, you have to realize that you are a magical being. And for you to really understand that you are a magical being, you have to first realize that you are a spirit having a human experience. And you have to realize that there is magic in believing. So you have to believe in yourself. But most of all, you have to believe in your magical self. Now, the book of which I speak is the B-I-B-L-E, which means Basic Inner Belief Life Eternal. Basic inner belief, life eternal. Now, those who wanted us to keep you in a perpetual state of mental slavery and having you looking outwardly, they taught you that B I B L E means basic instructions before leaving earth. Now, in a deeper level of understanding, you'd realize that this body represents the earth. And there comes a time that you will actually leave this earth, but it will take place within. When you will burst your crown chakra and go beyond your skull. Even where I'm sitting here right now in this country, very few people realize where I'm sitting right here right now and this place that I normally come and meditate every Sunday that is the heart chakra of this island and then there's the volcano and the volcano is the crown chakra and so it's always active and whenever it erupts it blows, it covers off and anything that's in its path will be destroyed by the heat, by the fire. But in return, it's going to give the island even more better uh, soil, a more fertile soil. Because after there would have been uh, eruption in, I think, 1972, 1979, and 1912, and so on, it have made the island a very, very fertile place to grow anything. So you see, even with a, a volcanic eruption, it's going to bring forth newness of life. New things going to spring forth. And all of that is to teach you that we are all so much connected. There's only one universal consciousness and one one, one um, great, one great, one, one, okay, just, there's just oneness. Everything connects. Everything unites. And that is why we have to be in alignment. So I'm saying all of that to say to you that the Bible is a book of magic. And magic is where you believe in the invisible. And you believe that you can take something 
that is invisible and make it visible. And it tells you in Hebrews 11 that faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Therefore it is teaching you that there is an unseen substance that you can draw from and put action to that which you believe and it will manifest itself in this three-dimensional world and you'll be able to contact it by the five senses. Then in Romans 4 and 17, it tells you that you must call those things that be not as though they are. The calling forth, the speaking forth of things into being. And then in Genesis, it tells you God said, let there be. And there was. And then, in the same chapter that I would have quoted for you concerning faith in, in, in uh, Hebrews 11, it tells you, by faith the world was created and the world was made through faith. Teaching you that each and every one of us are creating our world. And how are we doing it? By understanding our magical self. Now, when you read in the Bible of all the different miracles, you're reading of imaginal acts that manifest. And those who don't understand these imaginal acts, they call them miracles. And throughout the entire Bible, when you count up these miracles, there are 1, 5, 3. And 48 different occasions. And then, in St. John chapter 21, you're told of the great magician, the magical one, the Christ, the high state of consciousness, your higher self, your real being, that magical being, says to the disciples, have you caught anything? And they say, we haven't caught anything and we were fishing whole night, all night, we were toiling and we haven't caught anything. Then he says to them, it is because you do not recognize and realize your magical self. Therefore, I'm going to teach you how to discover your magical self by teaching you the magical code and how to use the magical code. But you have to change your thinking because you're throwing the net on the wrong side. You're throwing the net on the side of lack and limitation. You're throwing the net on the side of the governmental system of academic education, religion, and politics. You believe in the narrative that was fed to you. So I have to give you the code so that there will be a shift. And when that shift takes place, you will be now trending net on the side of abundance, on the side of limitlessness, on the side where you realize that all around you is abundance, on the side where you realize that the fish represent frequency, intelligence, a higher IQ, a place of awareness, 
dwelling in the infinite. When you cast your net there, which is your goals and your dreams, your concepts, your belief, when you trust your Christ self, your imagination, then you would realize that code of 153 operating in the 153 energy vibration and frequency. And this is the magical code that will bring you to realize that you can create your reality and that you can create your reality consciously. But you have to learn to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. Then you have to understand that money is energy and that you are energy, you are vibration and you are frequency also. Then you will say, I am money, I am wealth, I am health, I am abundance, I am rich. You will say all of these things because you understand that the name of God is I am. And you are now embracing your I amness. Which is to say you are now embracing your magical self. And you are now using the magical code of 153. Because you now realize that your word is your wand. And you are casting your wand. Because every word is a spell. And so you are declaring the, the, the good spell or the gospel which is the good news. And the good news and the good news is you are limitless you are abundant you're rich you're a millionaire you're a multi-millionaire you're a billionaire whatever you can believe and conceive you can receive you realize that the whole world is your own self pushed out your outer environment is a reflection of your inner environment. Everything is within. The entire universe is all mental. Therefore, you have to fix your mind and arrange your mind to align with the energy and the frequency and the vibration of the universe. Even your body has to be in alignment, your emotion. Because we are living in an ocean of motion where everything vibrates, nothing rests. And all of that is being realized because you have accepted the magic code of 153. And you decide that you're going to work with the magic code of 153 that holds the mystery of 3, 6, and 9. And there's no number higher than 9. And so you are living and seeing the world from a higher self. You're seeing the world from the power of nine. You're living in the nine dimension, which is the dimension of a magician, a true alchemist, practicing alchemy. And creating your reality consciously. Then you understand the power of 153. Many people read this, that scripture in St. John chapter 21. And believe that there were seven literal men in a boat. Who would have cast their net. By the instruction of a special one. Who walked the earth 2000 years ago with special powers. And that they actually had 153 fishes in a net. No. We refer to the internet as a net. And there are many, many, many ideas and many, many concepts out there on the internet. So much information. But it is where you are vibrating. 
It is where you have your focus. There are millions and millions and millions of people who are on the internet and they would not find this message because of where they are casting their net. Because of what they are focusing on. Because you will only find and discover that which you are looking for, that which you are seeking for. That's why you are told, seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Ask and it is given. And I'm saying to you, when you realize this one five G code that is connected with your magical self, I'm saying to you, ask and it is given. Because everyone that asks it, receive it. And if you ask for a fish, you will be given a serpent. So you see, the fish represents wisdom, knowledge, understanding, abundance. It represents the power of great price. It represents the frequency that connects all of humanity. And once you get into that frequency, there's no power in this world that can stop you from creating your reality and creating your reality consciously. That is why I'm sharing this magic code with you because we are all magicians and we are here to discover that we are magicians and we are to work magic, which is referred to as miracles because our existence itself is a miracle. Therefore, we must live by miracle. We are all taught evolve being and everything that we depend on, it was first a thought, it was first an idea. Our mother and our father, when they came together to have sex, it was first a thought, it was first an idea, it was first imagined. Therefore, we are living in an imaginary world. Nothing that you see around here is actually real and solid. Only that which is in you is real. Therefore, create your reality. And do it consciously as a true magician. Believe in your magical self. Embrace your magical self. Because you have a genie. Just think of the word imagination. And you'll see a nation of magician. Join the nation of magician. And I'm saying to you, if you haven't joined my one five three challenge, on my Facebook group. I'm giving you an invitation to be a part of my Facebook group. And the reason why I'm saying this at this point of this message it is because if you have listened to this message up to this point, it means that it's actually resonating with you. It means that it's making sense to you. It means that it is reaching out to you. Therefore, I'm encouraging you to take the challenge. You have never challenged yourself before. And I'm saying to you, make the greatest investment that you'll ever make in your life by taking that challenge. And it costs you nothing but believing in yourself. That's the cost. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I just want to reiterate that if what I'm, I've been saying, if it's been resonating with you and it's really reaching out to you, and you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraging you to like, to subscribe, to comment, or to share this message. I want this message to go all over. I want it to be viral. I want to be more in touch with the world so I can point them to discover their magical self and to wave their magic wand because there's magic in believing. Now, before I leave you, I want to let you know that this message I bring to you as usual that it is the single eye, yes, yes, yes. It is the single eye message of self-realization of which Matthew 6.22 says that if your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. And my brother and my sisters, hadn't it been that I would have experienced that light within me? When that eye awakes within me, and when that eye awakes within me, it happened after I would have felt a great and mighty shaking. When those two lights at the base of my spine came together and I awake from the dream of life and, and ascended like a fiery being having heard the unearthly wind and I would have rolled the stone away and came out and found my body to be a tomb and I became invisible and understand St. John chapter 3 
what it really means and what it's really all about. Understanding the new birth, the resurrection, the virgin birth, all of these things, just through that experience. And I've come to realize that when the Bible says that you shall change from mortal to immortality in a twinkling of an eye, that that twinkling of an eye is an opening of an eye where you would awake from the dream of life. And from that time to now, I've been teaching the single eye message of self-realization. And I've been saying to everyone, do not let anyone in this world ever brainwash you or deceive you to make you believe that the eye above the pyramid is an evil symbol. No. It is the symbol of the all-seeing eye of God in you. Who is your imagination. For you would have an awakened imagination. Also it is the eye of the mystics. The eye of the prophets. The seers. Where you would see. In another dimension. Okay, there will be an opening. Of your third eye. And you will go beyond your third eye. And both your crown chakra. And come into the world of the invisible. You've come into the place of a spiritual astronaut. And that's why my brother and my sisters. I always give you the symbol of the single eye with my hand. Right above my crown chakra. Saying to you that whenever you have this experience. You come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in an S-O-N. And that it is the dawning of a new day in your life. For the sun parallels the human imagination, the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, as in the S-U-N, there is no life and there is no life. And without the human imagination, there is isn't anything made that was made. And you are told that the Lord thy God is a sun, as in a S-U-N, and a shield and no good thing will he withhold from you. And the sun has never withhold any good thing from humanity. As a matter of fact, it is the sun that powers all of humanity. Therefore, my brother and my sisters, I just want to say to you also that Malachi chapter 4 and verses 2 says that the Son, as in the S-U-N of righteousness, shall arise in you with healing in his wings. And I bring healing to you by pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity and to use your mind power, which is your solar power, your sun power, your God power, your creative power, which is actually the sexual power. Use that power to achieve your every desire by using the one five chi magical code because you are a magical being. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.